filmmaker Nick Begich cites more than 30 patents that show mind control is possible by using light, sound, or electronic fields. As long as the pulse rate um, is, is correct and, and hits a window frequency. He uses an example from 1997, when more than 600 Japanese children went into epileptic seizures while watching a cartoon, which flashed a light at a certain rate. Similarly, he says if a radio wave is sent at the right frequency to an acupuncture point on the skin, it will translate into an auditory signal that is sent directly to the brain. Vegas used this infrasound device to demonstrate on me. I can hear it when you press it to my skin, but not when you take it off. Right. So that's sending the signal through my skin. Through your nervous system, right into the brain, and the brain is decoding it. And so it's almost like it's right in the center of your head. And you can do that even if it, you weren't touching my skin? Not with this device, but if I were using a microwave carrier at a distance, we could achieve the same thing. He says the sound could then be used to control my behavior, and the waves can be sent through any energy source, radio towers, indoor... Not with this device, but if I were using a microwave carrier at a distance, we could... ...fantastic possibilities if from the outside we could modify the inside could we give messages to the inside? But the beauty is that now we are not using electrodes. In recent years, Delgado has shown that the behavior of monkeys can be altered using low-power pulsating magnetic fields. But in these experiments, there were no antenna implants. Any function in the brain, emotions, intellect, personality, well, could be perhaps modified by this non-invasive technology. CNN enlisted the help of noted physicist Dr. Elizabeth Rauscher and electrical engineer Bill Van Weiss to build and test an RF mine interference machine from data found in Soviet scientific literature. The machine itself was inexpensive. Emotions, intellect, personality. These experiments, there were no antenna implants. Any function. It's an entire program. It's a stalking, harassment, surveillance, torture. Marianne Stratton says she is a walking human experiment. You can't go anywhere without somebody following you, knowing they know what you buy, they know what you purchase. At this rally last summer, Stratton and others explained how the government monitors their thoughts through ultra-frequency radio waves sent by any energy source directly to the electromagnetic waves in their brains. And like I said, they can... Uh, Tune it to any human that they want in this country, just like a radio frequency, an FM, like an FM station. They say the waves can also control their minds and their bodies. They can cause your heart to hurt. They can cause you blast your stomach. They can cause your ankles to give out. They can cause your knees to get out. Whatever they direct it to, wherever they can direct the pain to, your body feels all of it. Why? They claim the government is perfecting mind control technology to use in war. In this all form of terrorism and torture to drive the, the targeted subject insane, to drive the, the human insane. The government has confessed to similar operations in the past using LSD or hypnosis. Now, hundreds of self-proclaimed mind control victims say these documents prove... Have you ever listened to that little voice in your head? Most people consider that their conscience, maybe their intuition. Have you ever listened to that little voice in your head? Most people consider it.